Lesson 37. Continuous Tracking. Overview. In this lecture, students will learn about different methods for continuously tracking advertising campaigns and their effectiveness. The discussion includes planning campaigns, the interplay between image and reality, and fundamental questions regarding advertisement understanding. Let's delve into key concepts. Continuous tracking. A savvy advertising professional or agency consistently monitors the impact of advertising campaigns. This involves addressing essential questions such as 1. Does advertising effectively work in this market? 2. What types of advertising are effective? 3. How does advertising influence attitudes and behavior? Continuous tracking is essential due to the dynamic nature of markets and the evolving nature of consumer behavior. Example. Imagine a new product launch where tracking reveals a shift in consumer preferences. Adjusting the advertising strategy promptly can significantly impact campaign success. Research can help. Research serves as a crucial tool for obtaining timely insights. It acts as an early warning system, revealing changing market patterns and unexpected events. Research accumulates valuable data for future reference. Example. If research indicates a sudden surge in interest in eco-friendly products, adjusting the campaign to highlight a product's environmental benefits could capitalize on this trend. Planning campaign. When preparing an advertising campaign, consumer-centric strategies are essential. Advertisements, being addictive, require careful consideration of execution, budget allocation, scheduling, competition, and audience involvement. Example. If the target audience is highly engaged on social media, allocating a significant portion of the budget to digital channels might yield better results. Image and reality. Understanding the interplay between image and reality is critical. Human perception, like interpreting visual illusions, depends on the frame of reference. This concept is crucial in evaluating brands. Example. Like the duck-rabbit illusion, a brand's image can be perceived differently by various consumer segments. Or in the picture below is it a vase or two faces? Basically, it is the concept of white on black or black on white. Basically, what you are using to make sense of what you see is called, frame of reference. This generates a perception. Evaluating a brand. Brand evaluation involves assessing attributes or features, considering what features the brand possesses and how consumers interpret them. Example. Evaluating a tech brand may involve considering features like user interface design and processing speed, emphasizing aspects that resonate with the target audience. How to understand ads. Ads captivate audiences, and understanding them involves recognizing them, identifying their purpose, and absorbing information. Example. Analyzing a car ad may involve recognizing the brand, understanding the message, e.g., speed, safety, and absorbing details to make an informed decision. Brand reminders. Ads reinforce brand salience by storing information in the audience's mind, focusing on what's known and introducing new elements. Example. A brand of sports shoes reinforces its image by showcasing familiar athletes while introducing a new line to captivate the audience. Part of the ad we focus. Understanding ads involves recognizing what's familiar, being reminded, and discovering new elements. Example. A well-known soft drink brand introduces a new flavor. Consumers focus on the familiar logo, being reminded, while exploring the novel aspect of the product, the new flavor. Ask basic questions. To comprehend an ad fully, fundamental questions must be answered. 1. Who is the ad addressing? 2. Who is delivering the message? Example. Analyzing a skincare product ad involves identifying the target audience, those interested in skincare, and recognizing the spokesperson, a celebrity endorsing the product.